The South West is tonight mourning the death of two motorcycling mates killed in two separate crashes at almost the same time. The Rio Tinto workers are riding home from a birthday drink in yelling up when they veered off the road. Two bunches of flowers for two mates killed in bizarrely similar circumstances just seconds apart. A community reeling. 42-year-old father of two, Andy Kelly, and Brad Walters, who had just turned 35, were riding their Harley-Davidson motorcycles when something caused them to swerve off the road, hitting separate trees. Dunsborough is a small community and, and there'll be a lot of people grieving today, uh, two loved members of the community and their families, and, and our thoughts are, are with those families at this terrible time. The pair, both from Dunsborough, were celebrating Brad Walter's birthday with another mate at Wild Hop Brewery. The trio were on their way home along Wildwood Road. The third rider was just metres behind them. He was a friend of theirs, so um, terribly devastating find for them. And from my understanding is that he called triple uh, zero. Brad Walters, my brother, I can't believe you're gone, his sibling Russell wrote online. And from friends, how quickly life can be taken. No words can describe the pain we all feel right now. Two of the kindest guys around. Major crash detectives are investigating what caused the double fatality. Just metres from the brewery around five o'clock yesterday afternoon. These are the types of conditions the men were riding in yesterday afternoon. Close friends have told me they're extremely experienced motorcyclists who knew the roads well. Residents who live here say the bend is notorious for close calls and crashes. It's an area that like all areas in, in, our, uh, in our country roads you need to take care. Jacqueline Robson, it's still not clear tonight what caused the crash. Well, Tracy, major crash investigators are hoping someone with dash cam footage will come forward to help them piece together exactly what happened here. But ultimately, it will be up to the coroner to decide how two experienced riders lost control. Both men were due to fly out yesterday for their FIFO jobs at Rio Tinto. Instead, the company is offering its support to their families. Tracy, Jacqueline, thank you.